I think from the intro of the video to kind of discuss some, um, um, you know, discussion of what we're talking about here, and that is the, a book about these wonderful dinosaurs, one of the most iconic body plant images of when we think of dinosaurs outside of, you know, theropods and meat eaters and such, and that is the wonderful sauropods. In this book review, we're doing The Sauropod Dinosaurs by Mark Hallad and Matthew, uh, Matthew J. Wendell. Let me see if I get a good view. It's a big size book. Um, you may have seen this in the bookstore wrapped up in cellophane and that may discourage you on what the contents inside of it are like and I understand that but that's what good reviews like you know hopefully reviews like this would help encourage you. Now book to side you might think it's just a coffee table book with a lot of general stuff you know uh, general stuff and maybe not the details you would ask for um, but no this is a good book that's for the you know, person that's interested in you know into the subject but it doesn't want too technical a lot of them um, over, over too much jargon, there's plenty of it, but you know, it introduces it to you uh, as a good book like this does. But it's not, it, but it's not, you know, for kids, you know, yeah, definitely for the intelligent layperson. And of course, the subject matter is of course the wonderful sauropod dinosaurs. And this is a beautiful illustrated book, and, you know, you know, one of the examples right here, this one talks about the um, air, you know, about the, how, how they could breathe and how to, you know, what's and what features they see, um, see and how they can tell that. Um, this covers all, just about everything you possibly want to know from the history of how the sauropods were discovered to um, new, new research today. It talks about the, um, you know, different body, you know, different types of sauropods. You got the, um, from the earliest, you know, amniotes, and then you got to the prosaur, you know, from dinosaurs and prosauropods, and then later branches, you know, the, into the sauropods themselves and all the groups within that and tells about the um, features that make up these different groups you know, you know excuse me section like this could tell you why and it talks about um you know oh uh, chapter by chapter um different features of what they can understand about them oh well, let's see oh you know, let me find like oh um uh sauropod field guide you know um, bones of bridges um yeah like why is it that you have this group of animals getting as big as they did how can you do that and how can they support themselves and this goes into detail and all that you think about features like the um the hands themselves and how they evolved well the bigger they are the more the hand changes it's fat you know makes sense of that but it also talks about not only how you can, you know get how it supports itself being big but how they had to get big in the first place and there's a chapter about the you know reaper you know reproduction and the um offspring of sauropods and what they know about that they talk about well of course you know they they feed on plants but what kind of plants you know because um you see some of them do strip the leaves off of them certain plant you know um a teeth can you know can strip off um different um types of plants and you know if but there's also some like the nidrosaurus that was a low grade um feeder like you know cattle and all that so you and so, but it also you can see, you know, what does the excrement tell you? You know, what how, what did we find, and what can we tell of that? Of that, yes, corporalites and such, and talks about um, the techniques we have to further understanding, um, uh, you know, into the research because you can always look at the bones, but the bones can only tell you so much. So, you know, CAT scans, computer CG you know, models that tell you things about the weight, movement, you know, volume, that sort of thing, and how we can infer from that. And also, throughout parts of this book, you can talk about competing ideas. You know, like, can a dinosaur, 
you know, sauropod dinosaur stand on its two legs like this? And how can it, well, how can it? Well, the short answer to that, you know, not to give too much spoilers, is that uh, depending on which groups, some are better capable than others, and they explain which features they have to allow them to do this, and why some don't even need to, like Brachiosaurus and Giraffe Titan. They're already reared up like that. So, and it even talks about what dinosaurs, you know, what sauropod dinosaurs found on the world at different times, which is an important thing, because that also tells us about the history of it. There's one, yeah, one chapter where they kind of explore throughout different ages of the Mesozoic and different parts of the world what um, sauropods um, were doing at the time. And there was an interesting part in the middle, in the, in the early to mid. In around early mid Cretaceous, they have what's called the sauropod hiatus, and then there was, you know, there was a part where they weren't finding too many sauropods at the time, but then later in the Cretaceous, they find plenty more, and they, they talk about that in detail. There's a chapter on what predators are out there to hunt these and how they can hunt them, and what happens to a sauropod when they die. So yeah, a lot of stuff you may you think you know, but this goes into detail. You're like, oh, I may not have even thought about that, you know. And all this is from nature itself. It talks about the um, oh, um, the mass extinction, you know, um, last chapter, and why uh, we all think, well, it's you know, it's the immediate end of the dinosaurs. Or if you're a little bit further knowledge, the deacon traps in India, and they explain, okay, well, true, but then there's the whole thing about all the survivors of that. So to get into this. But again, this is a wonderful book for those of you who um, want to know about strictly sauropod dinosaurs and just about every detail um, that's currently, uh, that's generally up to date. This one was copyrighted 2016, a couple of years ago at the time of this video. There is a drawback that you may find a flaw if you count this as such. This talks about sauropods in general as a whole entire group. It does not give a catalog list of species of sauropods. It talks about many species all throughout the book and gives some as examples for different scenarios that talk about in the broader subject. But there's no list like, okay, Macronarians, the Apatosaurus, Apodicus, blah, 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 and then you got the, you know, this one group, you know, the Prosauropods, what all is in that. You find that in some other books like Gregor S. Paul's The, um, you know, Predatory Dinosaurs of the World. Um, the Pterosaur book by Mark P. Winton also talks about, you know, groups and species within that. This one doesn't. It talks about the general aspects of the sauropods and from their history and from all the research that's done talking about their life cycle and what have you. But if if that's an issue, I might I suggest um, you know unless you are a person that likes to go online for every species that he does, you know that's no different than looking up the dictionary for words you don't understand. But there's also the this as a good companion piece for that. This is Gregor S. Paul's of Princeton Field Guide to Dinosaurs, second edition, mind you. Um, this came out a year or so ago, and it just is a nice little catalog of. Various species of dinosaurs. This covers all dinosaurs, theropods, um, ankylosaurs, what have you, and even a section, you know, from like, oh shoot, like prosauropods, like the famous plateosaurs and all that. And of course, there's the sauropods themselves. Now, it's not an illustration for everything, but it's a great catalog companion piece to go with this. So if you find out a flaw, uh, not a list, there's no list of sauropods. Get this um, Prince of Field Guide Dinosaur Second Edition. But if that's not an issue, then just pick this one up. Um, you know, if you are interested in dinosaurs, we don't want to get into books that are ultra technical and, and obviously you're too old to read the children's books. This is a good one for you. The, di uh, the Sauropod Dinosaurs by um, Hallett and Wendell. Um, definitely a good read. It's 300 pages, but because of the size of the book there and the size of the text there, it could take a while. It took me a while to read, you know, off and on as I did. Definitely not a paperback one, but people's um, mileage vary here when it comes to reading speed. So, um, there you go. Um, thank you all for watching. You have a nice day.